Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general reading for the second half of September already. Can you believe it? I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome, welcome if you're new and thank you for coming back. If you're returning, thank you, thank you. I ask that you please check the description box for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. And quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as a tip or donation to the channel is very, very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All your support and supporting the channel and helping it grow it really, really means a lot to me. And the more we grow and the more we share, like, comment, and all that good stuff, the more we'll get these messages out to the people that need to hear them. So Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, for Sagittarius, second half of September. This is a general reading, but um, if you can fit it into any kind of situation in your life, you're more than welcome to do that. If you can fit it into a romantic love kind of um, situation, then please do that, but I will read it as a general reading. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Saggies, second half of September general reading this is a zodiac oracle so we could get a sign element planet see what comes out if you don't resonate with what comes out here that's totally fine this is a little extra bonus all right so we got capricorn or you could have the sign in your chart uh somewhere capricorn or um you know somebody around you could be capricorn or have it heavily in their chart the capricorn Energy does represent in the major arcana in the tarot the devil, which is about toxic energy or addictions or obsessions or negative energy. So that could just be the energy around you, or maybe you just have a Capricorn around you in some way or have it in your chart, however, that resonates for you. So we'll see what we get. Um, in Capricorn Sagittarius, you're nine, which is the almost to the end and completion of something, and then. Capricorn here is 10. 10 is an ending, ending, and then one zero equals one new beginning. So you may be ending a toxic situation. That came out in your last general reading about finally leaving, I think it was your last one, leaving a toxic situation. And I kind of get the feeling it's still playing out uh, in this reading. So I don't know. We'll see what we get here um, for you. This oracle here. All the decks have been pre-shuffled and cut, all that good stuff ahead of time. More shuffling on camera, so please be patient with the shuffling. It is tarot. There is shuffling, so I think that's your card. So this will be your general energy. Uh, see what's going on with you. So we have Fox, which is number eight, and this is Earth energy. So Earth here. I get it straight in the camera. Earth here is Virgo Taurus Capricorn and number eight and eight is about action movement travel um, and let me just read a little bit about Fox here since I'm not quite sure um, Fox cleverness prosperity arrival of a harvest the Fox card symbolizes harvest after a period of confusion and travail in both legend and life, the fox is a crafty animal. Many Native American tribes depict the fox as a cunning trickster in their myths. The Chinese considered white fox, white foxes helpful spirits and black foxes possibly malevolent ones. Sometimes a fox spirit would shape shift into a beautiful woman to better woo a man. More positively, the fox is associated with wealth. A Nari, a Japanese god of food and rice, sometimes takes on the form of a fox to visit mortals. Harvest festivals devoted to a female incarnation of a Nari take place at the autumnal equinox. So, cleverness, prosperity, arrival of a harness. So, um, and you see the fox here. He looks like he's... Uh, it's it's more of like a statue and some sort of structure. It doesn't necessarily look like a home, but it almost looks like to me kind of like a shrine or um, something like that. So 
I don't know, arrival for, of something for you, or maybe you're just getting wise about something here. Uh, I don't know. So let's see what's on my, my deck upside down here. I have, okay. So let's see, on the bottom of the deck, we have Bluebird, which is 33. And threes are about working together, teamwork, collaboration, reuniting, uh, and that sort of energy. So, and this is air energy. So that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you have earth and air here. So let me read a little bit about Bluebird, number 33. Let's see what that has to say. Optimism, hope, happiness, idealism. So I think you're, you know, the fox is like a clever, you know, animal. And sometimes can be sneaky and clever, but I, I'm just getting that you're just now getting your wits about you, maybe over a toxic situation. Um, and now, you know, birds represent freedom. So maybe now you have, you know, you're leaving... You're leaving a situation here. You have your freedom. And it could have been something toxic. And you're all the more wiser for it. You're more clever now. Uh, the earth energy is very stable and grounded. All right, so let's see what's going on with you. Sagittarius. Why are they in this box? And bluebird energy. Capricorn energy. What's going on with Sagittarius? Thank you. The Knight of Swords. So, era, here's the ear energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, it doesn't have to be. Knight of Swords. So, that is somebody who rushes in. An energy of rushing in and um, speaking truths. Clarity. Cutting away things no longer serving you. Fast, swift action. Mental clarity. Uh, sometimes can rush in kind of harshly, so um, you may, if you're in that energy of wanting to just, you know, just be careful of your words, your actions towards others. Okay, so now we have the seven of wands and the seven, wow, two sevens here. Now seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So pardon my nails, they are, <laughs> I need to redo them so they're looking kind of crappy. But anyway, so you have the seven of wands, which is your energy fire and then we have air again with the seven of swords so seven of wands you know being very defensive and on guard having to defend yourself and the seven of swords can be trickery manipulation lies deceit something that you can't trust so there's something around you that you can't trust here or you're feeling like you can't trust and you're being very defensive and on guard in the situation like you're being, like you know, someone's trying to be sneaky and clever here, like a fox here, and that could be the toxic energy. So you're kind of, you know, you're kind of, and you're like rushing in and speaking truths about this situation, like, hey, I know what's going on here, uh, telling it like it is, speaking with truth and clarity, maybe cutting out something here, no longer serving you, not taking any BS, and really standing up for yourself against this uh, deceitful energy, trickery energy, untrustworthy energy. But with the bluebird there, it's kind of like freeing yourself from that energy also. So let's get more clarity here for Sagittarius. Ooh, that one wanted to fly. A couple more for Sagittarius. Wow. All right, it's telling me those two. Okay. So we have the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of... Wow. So here's the Earth energy and here's more air energy. So this is a brand new beginning. So this is having truth and clarity in a big aha moment in having a brand new beginning here with the Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles. So this is teamwork, collaboration, working together, reuniting, coming together um, here. So... This could be somebody you worked with that you're kind of on guard with. Maybe they're kind of sneaky and deceitful and you're kind of like just confronting them. This is a big aha moment, like seeing the truth and clarity of the situation also. It could be definitely someone you work with, somebody you don't trust that you're defensive against. 
and you constantly have to confront them and be on guard here with the Knight of Swords. But you have a brand new beginning here of truth and clarity. It's like you finally see their true ways with, you know, that they're sneaky and, you know, kind of like that fox energy of being sneaky. I don't know. So let's see. I don't know. That could be a separate message for some of you, or maybe for some of you, it could be somebody that, you know, you tried to work it out with, with the three of pentacles, you try to work together with them. But now you're just seeing the truth of the matter that uh, no matter how hard you try to work it out with them, work together with them, there's still this like untrust, untrust, untrusted energy with this person or people around you and, you know, being on guard and having to stand up for yourself with the Knight of Swords. All right, so let's get your actual situation. So I want to... Let's get one more. So we've got the Hangman, the Eight of Pentacles. All right, one more. The Sagis. And Death. Ooh. So, so you got the Hangman. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Death card. So we have Cancer Pisces. We have Earth again. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Death is Scorpio. So I feel like here, hang man, that's kind of like, you know, maybe you hung back and you didn't really say anything to this person for a very long time. Uh, this is like a suspended energy, just kind of hanging back, going with the flow, not really saying anything, just taking it all in, um, seeing everything for what it is, gaining new perspectives, but just kind of hanging back in suspe suspension. But then you have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is hard work, working hard, uh, putting the energy and dedicated effort into something, whether it's work-related or something else, a relationship, any kind of relationship, work, or something here, really, really working hard and putting that effort in. And then you have death. So this is the ending of something here. Uh, doesn't mean someone died. Just means it's the ending of a situation person, place, thing, anything here, ending. But then there's always a new beginning, and that's what you have here with the Ace of Swords, is seeing with truth and clarity and having a big epiphany and aha moment and having that big new beginning and just sitting in a place of truth and clarity. So I feel like here, let's get a couple more clarifiers. Let's get a couple more clarifiers here for... Sagittarius, second half of September spirit, please, for their situation. Let's get a couple more clarifiers. Oh, that's three. So, okay, I'm going to take these two. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. So definitely, yeah, okay, definitely could be a work situation here with the King of Pentacles. Here's that Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or it could just be your energy, um, Pentacles are all about monetary, material, work, education, that sort of thing. Five of Wands, that's your energy, fire. I definitely see here because we have Earth and then we have fire. And this is conflict, competition, um, petty arguments, and things like that. So this definitely could be work-related because now the king is sitting right under the three. So... The three of pentacles, king of pentacles. So it definitely could be a work situation. No, you're working hard. You're seeing, you know, this person being kind of tricky and untrustworthy. And you're defensive against them. And you're telling them, hey, you know, I see what you're doing. And I don't know, death, maybe they got fired. Maybe they got reprimanded here. Because I do see competition, arguments, conflict here. But out of this conflict came a new beginning. So if they got, you know, maybe they, you know, were seen for what they were truly doing here, their sneaky ways, and, you know, maybe they got let go, you know, and now you have a brand new beginning, like a better peace of mind now that they are no longer in your environment, like you feel freed from that energy over here with the uh, bluebird energy. Because you have 33 and 3 again, it's like, three pentacles here we're working together reuniting collaboration but three and three is six and that's peace harmony balance 
So I feel like uh, there's more peace and harmony now. So let's see. Let's see what your advice is going forward in your situation. Now, if it's not work, it could just be a relationship, family, friend, co or co-worker, like I said. Any kind of relationship or situation here. It's very general, so more accurate reading. You would need a private reading. Okay, so your advice here. Wow. The Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. Holy crap. <laughs> Water energy. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Swords with the Ear, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we have heartbreak here, um, heartache and heartbreak and pain. And then we have Five of Cups of feeling, you know, sadness over loss. Wow. So and that's your advice. Well, I, I don't know. Let's see. Let's get more clarity on that. Why are the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords here for their advice? You know, this, this, you know, uh, beaver, I guess it is, is leaving. I mean, this beaver over here sadly looks like it's like gone. And that beaver is just leaving that situation. So I don't, I'm just getting the message. Don't be sad. I mean, if it was somebody that you thought you had a friendship with and they did you dirty and wrong and you saw the truth and clarity of that situation, finally, and maybe, you know, you went to the corporate or you went to higher up and maybe they got terminated and you said gee I thought we were friends and maybe you're a little sad and heartbroken over the loss of the friendship here and that could be definitely here three swords also of you know heartache and pain can also speak of third party so just could be the third party energy of them being you know being two-faced, maybe being one way to your face and then betraying you behind your back. So, you know, that could be the energy also because we do have the fox and then the uh, seven of swords of that untrustworthy energy. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so well, we got the page of cups for advice. Clarity for advice, can we have one more? Sagittarius, oh, that's too many. One more, Sagittarius. There we go, the Hierophant. Okay, so to clarify this, we have the Page of Cups and the Hierophant. This is Taurus, this is water energy again. So, you know, there may have been apologies here um, in this situation, even though, you know, you had to end the friendship. You know, this could be them leaving, walking away from this job that, you know, or whatever here, because you see like death here also. So, I mean, and there could have been apologies here with the page of cups between the two of you as they were leaving. Hey, I'm sorry, or whatever. And you have the hierophant here. So this is, you know, morals. This is value. This is doing what's just and right. Um, and that sort of energy, you know, it's also about faith, spirituality, religion, commitment, um, marriage, and that sort of thing also. But um, I feel like, with the, you know, you have the two keys here also. So, uh, and the polar bear re represents like strength. So I think you just stood up and, you know, you knew like, you knew what was going on here was not moral, was not just, was not right here so even though you may have apologized to this person there might have been apologies but um you knew it was the right thing to do with the hierophant energy here it was the moral and just and right thing to do even though a friendship was lost as the outcome for your advice i think you just need to let it go here and know that was the right thing to do for you Wow, now you're free of that energy with the bluebird energy. All right, you have like a new beginning now, like free of that toxic energy as with the Capricorn in your environment. All right, so let's see what the outcome is for you. The Nine of Cups, so here's transformation. Here's peace and harmony, happiness and joy, wishes and dreams coming true. So now it's like, oh, you know, you're so much happier. Um, not that, you know, you feel like, 
it's good they're gone or well in a way yes but um i'm feeling just uh like the whole situation just transformed and it's a more peaceful calm happy joyous energy now in whatever it was for you whether it was your work a family or friendship environment here it's like you know i had to let it go i had to end this friendship i had to do something about this co-worker who was being untrustworthy and tricky and I saw what was going on. I saw the truth of the matter. And I did what was moral, just, and right. And know that you did the right thing here. All right. So let's get more clarity on your outcome here. With the Nine of Cups energy. For the outcome, the Sagittarius. The Five of Swords. Okay. What else? What else for Sagittarius? Put the camera down. Sorry, guys. I forget to do that sometimes. All right. One more for Sagittarius. The Emperor. Wow. So we have Aries here with the Emperor. And then we have the Five of Swords. You took control of the situation. You know, the Five of Swords energy is somebody who gets ahead by any means. So maybe this person you know, you knew they were, they were being untrustworthy, tricky, uh, doing things just to get ahead and they didn't care who they hurt, how they did it, how they got ahead. They, they just didn't care here. And you saw the truth of the matter with the emperor energy and with the hierophant, you did what was right, took control, took charge of that situation. The emperor. So you, I feel like you went to the higher authority, the higher ups, your boss, whatever here, told them this energy, this person, what they were doing. And uh, know if you feel guilty about that, as with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords, that uh, don't feel guilty that you absolutely did the right thing here. Whatever your situation here, ending a toxic situation here uh, again, but I feel like this time it's something different. It's like work related. I'm getting heavy like work related uh, energy here. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Pentacles. So we have the King. Do we have the King of Pentacles here? Yeah, over here. So now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So know that again, you did the right thing. You did, this is protecting your stability, your security, your foundation. The King and Queen of Pentacles is all about work, monetary, uh, material things. The King and Queen, now you absolutely did the right thing. Now there's more balance. Again, Six of Pentacles is about uh, balance and equal reciprocity, equality, Four of Cups. So again, you know, I don't know, maybe you're feeling a little bored and in contempt in your workspace, but, you know, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> Four of Cups energy is an energy of just feeling bored and blah and like in contempt and like, you know, just blah, my blah card. So even though, you know, things are better, Six of Pentacles, maybe you're still not happy where you are if this is a lot of Pentacle energy, so could be your work environment in the two of swords so being indecisive here uh, so maybe you were very indecisive about whether or not to um say something about this situation but you took action with the chariot energy here you moved forward you took action and it act absolutely was the best decision that you did because this is the chariot which is a very positive energy it's about success and moving forward with balance achievement so, and, you know, this is the Seven of Cups underneath speaks of uh, confusion, um, options, like maybe you were confused, what do I do, do I come forward, do I say something, and there you are with the King of Wands, there's your energy of, you know, being very passionate and uh, go-getter, ambitious, and going after what you want, a lot of energy, drive, ambition. You made that judgment call. You move forward with the Knight of Wands. Yep. You move forward with the Knight of Wands. You did what was right. You made that final judgment call. 
here. Thought about it, you know, but then you finally did it and moved forward and took that action. It's much more balanced now, you know, but you know, maybe you're still kind of blah board where you are, but it's better than it was before. And you made that decision for your stability and security of your uh, position or whatever it is for you. Wow. All right, so Sagittarius, let's get some advice and guidance for you going forward. Advice and guidance for you going forward in this situation. Advice. So I just see you absolutely made the right decision. You knew it was the right thing to do. You know, this sadness and grief over a loss of maybe a friendship of somebody being um, deceptive to you, backstabbing you, being two-faced to you, and then you just saw the truth and clarity of that, and you decided to take action, and you did the right thing, and they may have lost, you may actually just maybe lost the friendship, or they lost their job, or whatever here, but it absolutely, absolutely was the right decision that you made. And I don't see you getting any, like, backlash for that. I just see you uh, being more uh, stable and grounded now in your environment, even though you may not like it and you may be bored. Uh, it's actually a more peaceful place now, better. All right, so. All right. All right, you freed yourself from that toxic energy. As with the devil with the Capricorn energy. So we have full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. So, you know, maybe you were feeling like, and Leo here does represent strength, the lion, of being strong, courageous, and brave. So maybe, you know, you said, well, I'm not going to say anything. You know, that's your pride getting in the way, you know. But then you mustered up all your strength and courage here, and it came full circle. The full moon in Leo. So this might might have just happened over the last month or so. And you uh, brought closure to the situation. All right. So what else do we have for Sagittarius? Wow, that's way too many. So I got a couple here. Let's see. Hold your vision, fixed moon, and believe in the impossible blue moon. So... You know, maybe you just thought here that, you know, I can't do it, I can't do it. And that's mustering up all your, all your strength here to actually take charge and take control of the situation and finally come forward. You know, maybe thinking here, believe in the impossible, like it, it's not going to work, go in my favor, you know, I might get fired or whatever here. But you held your vision and you knew, you knew what you saw, you knew what they did here, and you took control of the situation in... You overcame your pride and ego about being able to um, confront this situation. All right. I don't know. I'm feeling like that may be it. But let's see if there's any other messages for you, Sagittarius. Or second half of September. I don't think so. Any other messages for Sagittarius? Second half. September. Wow, and I had just said conclusions are within reach that you brought you brought uh, closure to the situation and this I think is concluding for you, this whole situation now. Wow, we have confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Leo again, so I really feel like this just, just happened with over the past month and you did use all your strength confidence, courage, bravery, and you actually finally, finally step forward in the situation. And now you're more uh, at peace, balanced, successful um, kind of energy now, more stable energy around you now. And we have communication is key, new moon and Gemini. Wow, and that's you stepping forward, telling truths with truth and clarity about the whole situation here and communicating exactly what was going on in the environment here yep wow so gemini um that's in june 
So over the past couple months, I feel like this whole thing came into full circle for you, Sagittarius. Wow, Sagittarius. Okay, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the below playlist in the description box for past readings. If you find a title there that resonates for you, I'd say watch it anyway. Disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. So please uh, do go check that out. Best of luck to you here in your situation. And I just feel here you absolutely did the right thing. Things are better now. You freed yourself. You know, there is sadness over a loss of a friendship or a co-worker or something. Relationship like that. But absolutely more in a better place now. And you absolutely did the right thing. Okay, best of luck to you, Sagittarius. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. Oh, and if you do like my style, how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general in love for all the signs. So don't miss out on that. If you don't want to receive all those notifications from all the other signs, I ask that you please don't unsubscribe once you subscribe because you don't like the notifications. You can easily go and uncheck the bell. You'll still be subscribed, but you'll have to go into your subscriptions area in your YouTube account and look for my uh, videos there and you can watch them from uh, there. Okay, uh, Sagittarius, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, you always, always shine your light.